चैप्टर नंबर फाइव ला शॉम्ब्र दलन एल एन रूल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू राइट द मीनिंग सर्टेन मीनिंग्स ऑफ द सर्टेन वर्ड्स गिवन ऑन पेज नंबर फिफ्टी टू दर इज अ रूल यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर दिस इज अल एन रूल ठीक है एंड सर्टेन थिंग्स आर लेबल्ड लाइक एलमेरा वॉल क्लॉक डोर painting window so this we are going to write in book only and you are going to write this with blue pen okay chaliye you are going to repeat the words which i am saying after me la fenetro la fenetro la muar लार्मुआर, ला पियंचूर, ला पियंचूर, ला पोर्ट, ला पोर्ट, लॉर्लोज, ला लॉम le li le belo so these are the words which are labeled okay now write their meanings fenetris window armoir almira pianchu painting la porte door horloge wall clock la lamp lamp le lit bed le ballon balls now chapter reading of chapter number 5 j yun ग्रांड शॉम्ब्र दोमा शॉम्ब्र इलिया ओली जुन आर्मुआर जुन लॉम जुन ओरलोश दे बेलों जुन पियंचूर एट्सेट्रा लली ए ग्रांड मे ल आर्मुआर ए पति ल लॉम ए ल पियंचूर Saw three bell. Set yun bell chambre. Jam ma chambre. I have a big room. In my room there is a big bed. Almira, lamp, wall clock, ball, painting, etc. The bed is big. but the elmira is small lamp and painting are very beautiful it's a beautiful room i love my room okay now page number 53 the related questions from the comprehension are there question number 1 you need to tell true and false vre u fo okay i have read the chapter first is la chambre est grande please you can uh, share your answers in chat box la chambre est grande the room was big vrai you are not going to write true or false you are going to write vrai ou faux okay il y a un livre there is a book have you read about any book in this chapter Yes or no? No. Yes. This is false. There is no book. We have just talked about Elmira, lamp, painting, wall clock, and bed, balloons, etc. But there is no book in the chapter. La lamp a lied. The lamp is ugly. Four. Very good. The lamp was beautiful. Deepad 
Il y a the ballon dans la chambre. There are two balls in the room. Very good, Chitra. It's four. There are so many balls in the basket. You can see in the picture. There are so many balls. There are no two balls. More than two balls are there. Okay. Now you have to write the contraire. Ecrive la contraire. What is contraire? Contraire means opposite. Okay. It is already written. Contraire. Layad means ugly. This one is E part. D part is left. Ilya Ali, there is a bed. Yes, break. There is one bed in the room. Okay, so first is Layad. That is ugly. Next is Move. That is bad. And third is Grand. That is big. You can just write the meanings below this. Ugly, bad and big. And now you are going to write the opposite. That is, ugly is beautiful. And we say, beautiful as bell in French. Then again, move is bad, good. Good is bomb. You can see here, E is not placed. Means this is the masculine adjective. So again, you are going to put the masculine adjective here also. You are not going to write B, O, double, N, E. Only B, O, N will be the correct answer. So please see to it whether E is placed or not. If E is placed, that is feminine one. If E is not there. Again in this, grand, E is not there. So this is the masculine one. And now, yet E is there in this. This is the feminine one. Now, if you are writing the opposite, big is small. So, grand is petit. Again, you are going to add E to it because the question is feminine. So, you have to write the opposite in feminine only. Clear, everyone? Now, we are going to study avoir verb. Avoir means to have. Avoir means to have. Clear? What are our singular subjects? And what are our plural subjects? Singular subjects are je, tu, il, and el. Nu, vu, ils, and else. Clear? Now, what is placed with this? It will become J apostrophe because my next word is starting with a vowel. It is J A T U A I L L A. Nu avo, vu ave, il zezo. Clear? This means I have, you have, he, she. Has. We have. Have. We have. You have. Children, please. Il, el, on. They have. Now, how we are going to use this, I'm going to give you one example. If suppose I'm saying, I have a pen. I have is je, a. This means I have. Now, I'm going to write a pen. Je, a, stilo. I have a pen. You have a book. Tu, a, a, leave. So this way we are going to just do. This is the avoir verb. That means to have. Wherever I am going to use I have, you have, he has, she has, there, I'm going to write the verb avoir. Okay. So as we have learned the verb ethel, that means to be, that means is MR. 
same way this is avoir verb that means to have whatever the thing i am having you are having any particular child is having any particular person is having suppose i am having i am saying mark is having a flower so you can what you can write mark a yun flower mark is having a flower clear so whenever i have to use has have i am going to write the avoir verb i hope i am clear we are going to study le nombre le nombre means counting and we have already studied counting 1 to 20 now i am proceeding further with 21 20 you can see what is 20 you have learned 20 20 is when and what is 1 a uh, 20 and 1 when a uh. similarly 22 23 24 25 where is 20 and 2 is the where true 23 so you are going to write 20 in each case and 1 2 3 4 like this clear this is very simple where true where 4 Where sang, then twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. Till twenty nine, the same process will be followed. Where you are going to write twenty, twenty, twenty. Then what is six? Sees. What is seven? That is set. Wheat. Now, and what is thirty? Thirty is thrown. Where a where the where two where catch where sank where sees where set where wheat where of thrown. Now thirty one. Thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, and thirty-five. We have learned what is thirty. That is thrown. So thirty-one is thrown. The a, then thrown the, thrown the trua, thrown the katr, thrown the sank. Okay. Now you can see. Thron C is thirty six. Thron C is thirty seven. Thron C is thirty eight. Thron C is thirty nine. And what is forty? Caron. Thron C is a. Thron C is the. Thron C is two. Thron C is four. Thron C is five. Thron C is six. Thron C is seven. Thron C is eight. Thrown the nerve and caron. So we have learned today counting twenty one to forty. 